Where do artists come up with their ideas? This is, this is a question that many people ask. In fact, artists ask this question of themselves. So where do they come up with the inspiration for the things that they draw and paint and sculpt or photograph? Sometimes it's complicated and it's enigmatic, but sometimes it's just simple. It's just a house. Hello and welcome to another virtual exhibition of art here at the Center for Art and Education in Van Buren, Arkansas. Our artist today is extremely skilled and what looks like a painting behind me is in fact a drawing. And the artist uses, well, you know what? Let me introduce you to him and let me let him tell you himself. Hi, my name is Dennis McCann. I live in Maumelle. I've lived in Little Rock. I was born in North Little Rock and, and uh, lived there all my life. The majority of my work is usually done in soft pastels. I work usually on paper. The scale is probably three feet by four framed, sometimes larger, sometimes smaller. I work in a studio setting, usually from photographs I've taken. My subject matter varies a lot. I get bored with the particular subject. I don't like to have myself kind of in a box to where I'm doing a particular subject that, you know, is predictable or sellable. I get bored of something after a few weeks and so if you look at my work, the subject matter is, is drawings of signs to buildings to people to street scenes to landscapes and uh, I kind of like doing it that way. Usually when I set up a composition, it typically is something that interests me and it normally plays to my understanding of the way I grew up. Lower middle class, uh, commonplace, uh, kind of a slice, slice of life. It's personal to me, so I usually don't draw like a grandiose building, like a Queen Anne style architecture, something more simple. I try to focus on light and dark. The shadows from the architecture is something that interests me. So if there's no sunlight and shadows, I'm probably not interested in, in, the, in the composition. That's true even with my figurative work. You know, if there's a good play of, of light and dark on, on the, the person, that I'm, the subject matter, or the clothing they're wearing, or the shadows that might be around them. And in graduate school, that was what I was doing, figure drawings, and the figure was draped, and I found myself more interested in the drapery and the play of light and shadows on the drape. And I started focusing on that, and that was springboarded me into drawings of things that would be outside in the sun. For example, a lawn chair that may be draped with a shirt or something I would drape over it. Then I realized that the lawn chair and the shadows cast from the lawn chair and on the drapery was pretty cool. My kind of mentality is something that the viewer can see that they can relate to. Like that house is a house that I grew up in or my grandparents lived in or seeing a lawn chair with a drape over it saying, you know, that's a summer day and relaxation. I look at life fairly simple. I produce something and it's a drawing it's, it's, or painting, it's on paper or canvas. And I'm hoping that the viewer can look at it in the same way I did when I was a teenager and got blown away with either the technical skill of the piece or the color or the movement, or the, what the piece is trying to say, whether it's some kind of a statement politically or, or, or just uh, life is good and this is a beautiful landscape. Um, what I hope that people see in my work, I hope they say to themselves, how did he do that? This concludes another virtual exhibition of art at the Center for Art and Education in Van Buren, Arkansas. On behalf of myself and the center, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed getting to meet Dennis and to really get to look at how incredibly skilled he is 
and how wonderful and insightful his work is. If you are interested in purchasing work by Dennis, please contact the Center for Art and Education and we would be delighted to help you do that. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Center for Art and Education, we invite you to do that as well. Please contact us for information in order to do that. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.